Hey, yo, 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 what up? This is Koozie, and I'm back. The brand new episode on a brand new year from the Lionheart server. That's right, it's 2018. Ha ha. Today is actually the 2nd, the 2nd of January for me, and if you can tell, I am still not 100%. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now. I think it, the worst is over, but I still have a little bit of that sick voice, so I apologize for that. But I have exciting news. Not only is it 2018, but I'm also now a mom. Uh, and that may cause some confusion there. No, I do not mean that I have an offspring or a child or even something that I'm uh, using to fill that spot. Like, it's not, uh, it's not that kind of mom. No, it's mom as in an acronym for member of the month. <gasps> That's right. We did it, guys. We did it on our first month here on Lineheart. We won member of the month. Thank you so much to everyone who voted, uh, whether it was for me or for someone else. Um, we appreciate uh, that kind of feedback from you guys. So that's really awesome. And uh, you know what this means? We get one of the mom loot crates, the member of the month loot crates that I've been talking about, the ones that sometimes have items that you cannot get in the game. I'm so excited. Um, we just have to find it now. <laughs> that's right. Uh, they did say it's around the base. And uh, then I did kind of get um, a message telling me that uh, I need to take my time. Like, while looking for it, take your time. Hourglass, hourglass, it's time. You see what I'm saying? It's like a clock. So let's go up here and see if we can spot it. Is it up on top there? No. Wait. Is it in, in, in the top? Let me see here. We're going to run out of rockets. I meant to fill them up in my inventory, but I didn't. No, it's not. Oh, oh, wait. There it is. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's uh, <laughs> it's very well hidden amongst all this orange sand, or I guess it's red sand, but it's it's orange. Let's be real. Okay, so we need to get in there, and I'm gonna do it from the bottom because it's the easiest glass to replace. All right, break our way through, and I want to break this, and then we're gonna get out of here, and we'll take it downstairs and t and take a peek. Um, let's see if I can just end up really like that and then boop, replace it. Awesome. All right, let's get down here. Um, let's just check it out here on the book. All right, throw it down there. What do we got? <gasps> no way. Look at all these diamonds. The brain bucket. That's awesome. Protection form, breaking three, mending, aquafinity, respiration three. That is like the perfect helmet. It's so much better than this iron helmet. <laughs> oh, that's wicked. Excalibur, unbreaking three, mending, sweeping edge three, fire aspect two, smite five. That's a wicked sword. They must have noticed that I have this little iron cheapy dealy. Eagle wings, mending, unbreaking three. What? Thorns three and protection four? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. This is a this is an elytra that provides protection. Do you know how amazing that is? And thorns, which is sweet, because the only problem with thorns usually is the damage that the, you take to the to the armor, but uh that won't be a thing because of the mending. Oh, that is so amazing. <laughs> Tight yoga pants, okay. We got unbreaking three, mending, protection four, and thorns three. That's amazing. Cause uh as far as I'm sure, correct me if I'm wrong, you cannot get protection four and thorns on the same piece of armor normally. So that's awesome. Ninja boots, unbreaking three, protection four, mending, feather falling four, depth strider three. Oh, those are really, really good boots. Really good boots. Those are yeah, that's the exact uh, enchantments that I would put on there if I had the the option. So that's amazing. Uh, and the meat cleaver, looting three, fire aspect two, sharpness five, mending, and unbreaking three. That's awesome. And then we have three villager eggs, you guys. That is so good. Now, um, I think. Uh, thank you again. First of all, before we get, thank you, thank you for voting for me if you did, and thank you for voting for someone else if you did. This gear is amazing, and this here. I'm assuming that this right here is a Canadian flag, um, because if you don't know, I am Canadian. And uh, where, where can I put this? Put this up here next to our shulkers. Look at that. Look at that Canadian flag. 
That is really good. Um, if you don't know, the Canadian flag has like a, a red leaf in the center, a maple leaf. And that's very hard, I would imagine, to do with banners. But this is, that's amazing. I'm so happy about this. I'm going to make like a million copies and probably post them everywhere around the server. Um, but yeah, that's so awesome. Thanks, guys. That's that's really cool. Really nice touch. Um, this gear, I don't want to lose this yet. So I'm just going to keep this safe here for now. Um, diamonds, I guess I should probably put those in my treasure box as well. Um, and then what I'm going to do this episode, uh, because we got really lucky here. We got a lot of really good stuff. And that's so awesome. And I think what we should do is uh, we're going to hook up AZ. Um, so Secret Santa, if you remember my last episode, we got uh, a gift down here from Spins. We got the limited platinum Jeezys and like a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, and then Kemet also gave us a giant goodie box uh, full of all kinds of stuff like diamonds, emeralds, and quartz. So we got really lucky. But uh, it turns out it came at a price. Um, AZ Badfish? He actually entered uh, Secret Santa and his name didn't get drawn. Um, so the same, the same, I guess, snap foo that caused me to get two gifts caused him to get no gifts. So we are going to get him some stuff today uh, and leave him a little gift. Um, because like, like I said, we were so lucky this year. We got, we got gifts from everybody. It's amazing. So I've been working on these two boxes here. I have AZ's Purple Box 1 and AZ's Purple Box 3. Uh, I haven't started number two yet, but let me see. So we got a box here of Purper. It's almost full. Uh, I, I'm going to get some more for him. And then I'm also working on a box of other purple blocks. Um, I wanted more purple dye, but I don't have any more lapis because I don't mine because I'm a lazy player. <laughs> uh, it's true. I'm lazy. I don't want to mine for lapis. Um, so I'm going to try to find a way to get him some another way. Uh, maybe somebody on the server can sell me some or something. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to work on getting some of that uh, and some other purple blocks um, because AZ's color is purple, if you don't know. And he's been working on this really cool, uh, like a keep. So let's see, it's over here. Yeah, so see, he's got all the purple here. And then he's got plans to put towers, I think. Um, ooh, let me see if I can get some height here and get a good view. He's putting some towers where these like stone structures are. And so he's going to need more purper. And right now he is using this little purper farm. Um, but I mean, as you can imagine, it takes a while for purper to grow. Then you have to come and harvest it. And you have to make sure that you get enough of the flowers that you can replant them and all that stuff. So, oh, and every, every four fruit that you get is only enough for one purper block. So He's going to be there for a while. Now, for me, I used a bunch of purper on my book at our base over here. And I gathered way more than I needed. So I have that shulker box full of purper um, that I can donate to him. I, I might get him a little bit more, actually, as well. I don't know how much he plans to use, but probably quite a bit. And then I want to give him the other purple purple blocks that uh, we can get him. Um, so I need dye. And yeah, so I'm going to go get some stuff together for him and then uh, we'll come back here and uh, yeah, then we'll go over and maybe give, give him a gift once we, uh, once we have it all collected. Uh, I'll be back in a second.
All right, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. So here we go. We have the uh, AZ Bad Fish Portal uh, Prank Secret Santa Extravaganza all complete. Uh, yeah, uh, it's purple, his favorite color. Um, and I just want to uh, go in and show you, we do have a little room right up here uh, that uh, maybe not was, Maybe, maybe was not that apparent in the time lapse, but I'll show you what we got up in here. So we have the sign, Merry Christmas. Santa was lost in the void. Better late than never. And there's actually a story to that. So when I went to get the second shulker box full of purper, I decided that the best way to do it, instead of having to harvest the chorus fruit, then cook it, then craft it, I decided I'll just tear down an end city. So I went and I found an end city, and uh, I realized I didn't have a bow on me at the time. And so I was trying to fight the shulkers in the main, the main like center tower thing, uh, with a sword, and I got killed. So it's like okay, that's fine. I grabbed uh, a backup elytra and a bit of gear, headed out again. And while I was searching for the end city, um, my elytra that did not have mending, <laughs> uh, it broke, and we fell into the void and died. Um, but that was okay. So then I put on the good gear, the uh, the member of the month gear, uh, which I didn't really want to bring to the end at all, but it was all it was all I had left, and I decided to go at it one more time. And uh, I got lost out over the void, you know, when you're out and there's no end islands anywhere to be seen, um, and you have to have your F F3 screen open so you can make sure you're actually looking up and not down, uh, so when you're flying you don't die. And I was lost, and I was like, this is great, like I'm going to run out of rockets, and that's going to be the end of me. Well, I managed to come across land uh, in the nick of time, and it turns out it was directly next to the city that I had died in the first time. So I managed to get all my original gear back. Uh, I had a bow this time. We, I took out all the all the shulkers, uh, tore down an end city, and got this second chest of purper. So that's 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 true. Santa was lost in the void. So, anyways, I hope uh, Az that you do like this. Um, and again, uh, sorry that you <laughs> kind of got screwed over in the secret Santa. Uh, dispenso name matic I don't know if it was user error or what. Uh, not on your part. But um, hopefully that helps make up for it. Uh, and, oh, did I show the actual contents of the center box? I think I did, but just in case. We also have uh, five stacks of purple dye, five stacks of the blue terracotta, which is actually like kind of like a dark purple color. Um, and then we have uh, 12 stacks of concrete, um, six of powder, and six of actual concrete, four stacks of purple wool, and two stacks of purple glass so all of his purple needs are there plus if he decides to ever tear this down there's a bunch more purple concrete and uh obsidian like there's i think uh like 130 blocks of obsidian in this this portal thingy so that should be enough to take him through an ender chest till the end of the game <laughs> but uh i'm actually kind of hoping that he just leaves this up so uh this is what we'll call on uh lionheart we'll call this a canadian prank so hopefully he enjoys it, he leaves it there, um, and uh, if not, oh well, it was fun to build, and it looks really cool. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video, this member of the month loot crate reveal, hooray, and the Canadian prank on AZ. Uh, if you did, go down and thumb wrestle that like button to show your support, subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, and uh, also... I want you to know that I think voting is already opened up for next month's member of the month. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can't vote for me, which is fine. But you should go down there and vote for Stan. Do you hear me? Vote for Stans. Let's get him a win. He deserves it, right? <laughs> Till next time, this is Goozy and I'm saying, peace.